Most BrightSign players support a variety of streaming protocols, including HLS, UDP, RTP, and RTSP. Some common examples of streaming media are content streamed over the web, content from IP cameras, and other audio or video content encoded as an IP stream. In this tutorial, you'll learn how to use the streaming widget in BrightAuthor Connected to add streaming content to your presentations. First, make sure you have an active stream using one of the supported streaming protocols. Here, I'll show three streaming setups to demonstrate some common streaming use cases. First, we have an HLS test stream from Apple. If you haven't created your own streaming URL and just want to test the feature, this is a good option to use. Second is an RTSP stream generated by an IP camera. Here, I can access the feed from an RTSP URL over a local area network. Documentation for how to do this is fairly straightforward and should be included with the camera manual or online. Be sure to place the player and the camera on the same network. The third example is an HDMI source being streamed from an endpoint encoder as an RTP multicast. As a note, you could also use a UDP address for this type of stream. Before you add the RTP address to the widget, it's a good idea to test the stream on a computer using a program like VLC. Once you're certain the stream's working properly, copy the URL. If you've been following along with these tutorials, open the multi-zone presentation you've been working on. In the navigator, select the video zone. Click on the content tab of the zone and switch over to the widgets tab then add a streaming widget to your presentation. Click on the stream widget and select the stream type. An audio stream would be used primarily in an audio zone, and an MJPEG stream is used for some types of IP cameras. In most cases, however, select video and paste the URL into the stream field. Select the timeout event and choose the duration for the stream. In this example, I've set the stream to play for 10 seconds before switching to the next piece of content. For the remaining streams, add a separate stream widget and paste in the URL for each source. Now save, schedule, and publish the presentation to see how it looks on the screen. In this demo, the streams play back-to-back, -back, changing every 10 seconds, and are followed by the recorded videos from the previous tutorial.